This CT debate video will cover basic tips and tricks for verbatim and how to get around and use it efficiently and simply. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is something called standardized highlighting. So let's say that you're in a document and you don't like the highlighting color of all of your cards. And let's say that you're compiling all of your evidence and you see that one card, not in this case, but one card is in yellow highlighting, the other card is in blue highlighting, for example, and the last card could be in red highlighting. And although this document, everything is in green highlighting, it's important to realize that you want to sometimes standardize your highlighting colors. And that's exactly where verbatim is going to come in. So let's say that all of your cards are different colors and you want to make it one specific color. You would go to this highlighting box under the verbatim tab and pick a highlighting color that you use. In this case, I would use turquoise. And then I would select the card and then I would click standardize highlighting. That way, my entire document is going to turn into the color that I want it to be. In this case, it's going to be blue. The second helpful thing is something known as split screen. So let's say that you're navigating among different documents and you want to go and choose the one, one document that you're going to put on the left and then maybe you have your flow or an Excel sheet on the right. So instead of having to manually drag your word across different pages, you would simply press the green button and then it would split your word into half. And that way you can easily go on to the other side and do whatever you want on this side. Third, we're going to talk about site formatter. The third thing that we're going to talk about is site formatting. So let's say that you go to a wiki and you're going through someone's wiki and you find something known as sites. The sites are really helpful in your wiki because it enables you to briefly look at a position. If you go to the carbon bubble disadvantage, all these are cards, but it's really interesting in that in the sites bubble, all of these are shortened. So you can see all the citations and see the first couple of lines on the first part of the card and then the last couple of lines in the bottom of the card. And so essentially this summarizes all of your positions into a very brief uh, summary and basically very brief outline. And you may be wondering or asking yourself how to format this document, which is clearly not in site formation because it has all the text of the body. Whereas in this one, it's simply within the first line of the first first line of the card and then the last line of the card. So it's very interesting and in how to format. So you may be asking yourself that question, and the reason or the way you can do this is by pressing the Wikify. And then it would automatically format your entire document on a separate document. So it's a different document onto this one. So it's important that this is here because you can copy and paste this. Go to your wiki, press add site. And then you can link to around site title. It could be anything. And then you can put it directly in here. And so if you look at the view option here, all this would be specifically in the verbatim formatting and everything would be there. The first line of your card, the last line of your card, and then the next card. So this is another way you can format your documents and another way you can make sites very easily. And that can all be done through the Citify option that is right here. So let's close this document. Okay, the fourth and last thing that we're going to talk about is how to stop Mac glitching. I'm currently on a Mac, and the read view that I'm currently on is in the read view, meaning that it's going to go from one side of my screen to the other. And although this is very good to look at, sometimes it glitches in that if I go up and down really fast, or if your document is really fast, it glitches, for example, just like that. The white screen pops up, and I am not able to see anything. And sometimes I'm not even able to scroll. And the reason that happens is that your Mac may not be able to load the entire document and may not be able to process all of your document in a very short period of time. So if you go from one page of the document to another really quickly, your Mac is not going to be able to download everything and load everything properly. So a one way you can always make sure that your Mac is never glitching out is to instead go to the read option. The read option or the draft option. The draft option is really good because no matter what you do, the document is never going to glitch out because there's less things that your Mac needs to load. And so this is one way I can 
navigate or go through the document without having to constantly go through by Mac glitching. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned a little bit more tips and tricks about Veritum and how you can employ and use it with more ease.